Okay, I'm going to talk about your tool and your leather hard clay. So a simple way to make a loop tool is to tape a paper clip to a pencil. Try not to use scotch tape. Try to find either strapping tape like this, masking tape is okay, or duct tape. Okay, so this is my leather hard animal. He is a little bit thicker than my thumb. This one isn't. This giraffe, a student made and left here, not thicker than my thumb. I don't have to do any hollowing. This guy, I would have to leave quite a long time, so I would definitely want to make this a little, hollow this out a little bit. So this is leather hard, and the way I can tell is I can easily pick it up, and I tap it, it doesn't squish, but I can still put my thumbnail into it. Okay, so I can still smooth it. It's still a little bit fragile, but not as fragile as really plastic soft clay or bone dry clay. Okay, um, so I want to hollow this out a little. So one easy way to hollow this out is just to take my loop tool or a paper clip and scoop out some of that excess clay. Now when you do that, you create a sharp edge in these little clay boogers, so you're going to want to smooth those little clay boogers down. I don't have to scoop out a lot, but I do want to scoop out a little bit so it's, it will dry faster. Now if I wanted to, I could put a piece of slab over that. Um, but then I would have to put an air hole in, which I'll talk about in a minute. The other thing for the tool is this is really good for carving away texture or smoothing things out. You can also use this to create fur. Okay, so it really works well for removing weight but also smoothing out. Now, of course, you can just use your fingers. You can add texture with your stick. Your stick isn't just for poking or drawing. If you use the side of it, you can kind of roll it. That works really well too, okay? Once you have made your um, animal, make sure that you have taken a picture of you making it or a video, and then put your initials and class shape on the bottom or name and class shape. So this is small. I don't wanna put it on the side, that'd be not attractive, right? So I'm gonna use my stick. If you don't have a stick, it broke or something, use a pencil. Hopefully you have a regular pencil at home, not just a mechanical one. That wouldn't work great. So um, make sure you press hard if you use a pencil because the pencil mark would burn out, but the indent won't. And then you guys, your class shape is the plus sign. So you'd put that on there in case you ever bring that in to be fired, which you still can do. Okay, so again, you're not just writing it. That will burn out in the kiln. You need to actually indent if you're using a pencil. Then always put those back in the Ziploc so they don't go bone dry because it's very hard to transport bone dry clay. Okay, and then make sure you upload to slide 10. Now, if you made a bigger animal, you would need to hollow that out, like this one. So when I made the panda, I made it with the pinch pot method. And the pig and the panda are in Schoology, so you can watch those videos in Schoology. So you can decide if you want a simplified, stylized one or a more detailed one. So what I could go in here when I'm um, sculpting this is I can go in and I can add details like on the feet and other places. So I can come in here and I can scrape away and add more detail. I can cut out the eyes. See, it works okay. Not the best tool ever. If you're really ambitious and you want to go buy some tools, they do have some at Michael's or at Hobby Lobby, and you can buy tools that are pretty um, inexpensive too, especially with their coupons. Okay, so carving away. Um, to get it to the leather hard stage, you can either just leave it out, but if you leave it out and the small ears and stuff are exposed, they're gonna dry faster, so, oh no, I'm gonna suffocate um, If you cover the smaller parts and let the other parts dry, then they will dry more evenly and you don't have to worry about some parts being bone dry and some parts being leather hard, okay? And then once it is leather hard, you wanna work pretty quickly or put a plastic bag in your hand and carve like that because your hand is warm and it will dry your clay out fast. This is for my stoneware kiddos, not for my air dry. That doesn't dry as fast as this. Okay, once you're done with, if you made the hollow form, you have to make sure you put an air hole in it. Use your stick or a pencil all the way to the air pocket and wiggle around. So before I fire it, I always test it to see if I can get all the way to the air pocket because otherwise that would blow up in the firing in the kiln. Okay? Once you finish, make sure you have your pictures uploaded to slide 10. You wrap that back up. And then um, you can decide if you want to bring it in uh, to be fired. If you're hybrid, then you will bring it in, but if you are remote, you can decide if you want 
to bring it in um, later this semester or choose not to. Okay, so those are your animals. Have fun.